So welcome along to Calmore Cars. In this video, we're gonna try and show you the difference between all of these Polos. So Polo's one of our most popular cars for sale here. It's a very popular first time driver's car, but it's also a small family car because they're all five doors. Also, most of them, if not all of them today, are automatic, which means you won't have to worry about your left leg in traffic. But they're all slightly different because this is a Polo Cross. Polo Cross comes with this kind of black plastic around the outside. It's slightly taller in stance, but it's essentially a Polo, but looks a bit more butch. But then if you shift a little bit forward, you'll find we have a brand new model of the Polo. Still a 181, but it's a newer model. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that it's much wider than its predecessor, which is this one. It's wider on the front, it's closer to the size of a Golf. It's a bigger car entirely than this one inside and out. So it's actually a larger car to park as well. But that extra space gives you a bit more room in the boot, in the back seats, in the front seats, you know, a bit more space inside the car in general. This one is actually more popular. And if you shift on again, this is a more standard, older model, standard Polo. So a normal feel to a normal Polo from the same era as this, but it's not the cross one. It's the kind of more standard model as well. It's very clean, very tidy, well looked after this car actually in first, but automatic as well. And then we come to the final kind of model, which is the one you find here too, which is the Polo GT. This is a spec change, not to be confused with a Polo GTI. So Polo GTI is a more performance car. This one is a standard car with a GT spec on it, which means you get better seats. Slightly different suspension set up as well inside the car, but essentially it's the same car. Actually, the steering wheel is slightly different as well. So there's a few extra specs on this one versus the other ones. It's all gonna come down to age. But let's get into a little bit more detail on each one right now. So why would you choose one Polo over the other Polos? It's surely just a visual thing, right? And this is in the case of the cross, because the cross is actually taller off the ground. So the cross gets all these extra black fairings, spot lamps, slightly different uh, headlamps, and a completely different chin strap on the front as well. So it does look like a different car, and that's probably vitally important when you're gonna choose which way you want the car to look, because the standard Polo looks entirely different to this one. So if you look for something a little bit more unusual, but it is a little bit taller, the Polo Cross is the way. Now, this is not an off-road car, make no mistake, it's not a full four-wheel drive with torque and tow settings. It's a Polo, has been lifted into the air a bit, but it's actually a very sensible buy when it comes to this car, because it'd be worth a little bit more when you're trading it in. So this is the Polo Cross interior, and you do get a couple of extra little bits in here when you're looking inside. On the seat it says Cross Polo. You get a slightly different steering wheel, still a DSG box and all these as they all are when they come into us. And it's got a little touchscreen in it. And that's kind of the big difference on the inside of the Cross, but you do feel taller in the car. And if I pump the seat up, I can actually get really high up into the ceiling of the car. So if you're a little bit shorter, Polo Cross might be the answer to what you're looking for. So that's the Polo Cross, and the Cross, of course, is a useful tool if people want to be a little bit taller and higher. But you, for around the same money, you can have a more modern Polo, which this is the latest model of this car. So this Polo is wider, it's longer, it's about the same height, but it's a little shorter than the Polo Cross, but it's about the same height as a standard Polo. And for this, you do get a more modern look. You get more close to the Golf in its shape. So this Polo is actually the same size, about the same size as a Mark II Golf. So you're looking at this golf size car called the Polo, but it is bigger than the other Polos that are here. So it depends what you're into. Let's have a look on the inside though, see if you get anything really different. So the newer Polo does get a different layout of a dash. It looks different, but it's still a DSG, still a handbrake, proper handbrake in it. This one has synced up dual zone climate control and a more modern touchscreen than the other ones. But the software on the other one is actually nicer to use than the software on the modern one. Just depends what you're into. This one has a leather steering wheel. It has mats involved or checkerboard mats as well. Nothing written on the seats or anything, but it's just a more modern, fresher looking Volkswagen Polo than the older models of it. I still, in my mind, prefer the older models ever so slightly. So that's a standard, more modern Polo. Let's have a look at a standard, older model Polo. This is, to all intents and purposes, your normal Polo. So 172 version of it. It's the same as this Polo, but that one's the newer body shape. So it's slightly narrower, slightly shorter, and slightly smaller on the inside. But I actually like driving these ones a bit more than this one. This one feels a little bit more lively on the road. And you do get a few extra bits and pieces as well, but this is the standard Polo. 
the normal thing, the only thing different from this, from a standard Polo that you would buy in any other dealership, is this one's automatic, which means around the city it's easy to drive, right? So put the D go, don't worry about it after that. Let's have a little quick look on the inside, see what it's like. So this being an ordinary Polo, you still get air conditioning, but it's single zone, and you still get a touchscreen. It's just an ordinary touchscreen. It's in it. So all that stuff still comes in the normal Polo. DSG in here as well. It's everything else, the layout is so straightforward, but it does feel a little bit tighter than the more modern Polo, which has a wider body to it. But this is actually nicer and more entertaining to drive. The last one we're gonna show you now is the Polo GT. So, so far we have looked at three fairly ordinary Polos. This one though is a Polo GT. Now don't confuse it with GTI. This has a 1.4 liter, 140 brake horsepower petrol engine. This also does about seven seconds, give or take, not to 60. It's a more performance car, but it's not GTI level. So we won't get too excited about that part of it, but inside you do actually get some really nice features. And I think the GT is a heavily underrated car in this country compared to these. And if you look at the price, it's actually slightly cheaper than the rest of them to buy. So this Polo GT actually gets a lot more stuff. This has heated seats, also has Alcantara in the seats and leather, and has a touchscreen built in too, which also hides a CD player behind it with an SD card for satellite navigation. It's all very straightforward, There's tons of stuff in here that you'd never think of being a standard GT or a standard Polo, because it's not standard. It's a, it's a Kyle Moore Cars Polo GT, so you're not gonna get more stuff in it for sure. But this has leather steering wheel as well, really comfortable seats, DSG box, 1.4 liter petrol. It has enough petrol to get it around the block as well. If you'd like a test drive of this, get in touch with us as soon as you can. But I actually prefer these cars. I think this is gonna become, I won't say a collector's item, but it's certainly gonna become a very desirable car as time passes on because it's a good mix of performance and a standard five-door family hatchback. So it doesn't matter which Polo you're looking for, there's one of the kind of Polos you have here. We even have a GTI Polo in stock. All good, suitable family, five-door hatchback cars, but the GT1 is a little bit sportier than the rest. Listen, there's hundreds of used cars in stock. You just check out kylemorecars.ie or drop in here to the showroom and see James, who's behind the camera right now and smiling at me because the panic I put on him is terrible. But check it out, kylemorecars.ie. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.